Earl Grey tea is a unique blend of black tea that's flavored with bergamot oil, the essential oil from a yellow bergamot orange. The sweet floral fragrance lends itself well to a sweet dessert. So today, I'm gonna be making an Earl Grey creme brulee topped with blackberries. What a show-stopping dessert! First, I'll start by heating up two and a quarter cups of cream in my medium saucepan with two bags of Earl Grey tea. I'll heat it up on medium-low heat for about 15 minutes to let the tea bags fully steep. Next, I'll work on my custard. In another bowl, I'm adding five egg yolks, half a cup of sugar, and whisking it until combined. Now, I'll take my cream and slowly add about a cup to temper the eggs. I'm doing this in batches so that my eggs don't scramble. When you add hot cream to egg yolks, it's sure to cook, so doing it one at a time will help ease the heat into it. I'll continue adding the cream little by little until it's fully combined. Next, I'll add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a little bit of lemon zest, and finally, a quarter teaspoon of Earl Grey tea. I try to look for teas that are ground very finely so that I can add it into the custard. It almost looks like little specks of vanilla. But if you can't find it and all you have are big tea leaves, then I would just leave it out. You don't want chunks of tea leaves in your smooth custard. Now I'm going to preheat my oven to 325 degrees. I'll transfer my mixture into ramekins or creme brulee dishes and place them in a hot water bath. A water bath provides moisture in the oven so that the custard doesn't develop a rubbery texture and film. I'll pour enough hot water into the pan to come halfway up the sides of the ramekins and then I'll bake them for 30 to 35 minutes until the center is slightly jiggly. I'll let them cool completely and then I'll place them in the fridge for at least 3 hours. Once the creme brulee has chilled completely, it's time to make our brulee topping. I'll take one teaspoon of sugar and sprinkle it evenly on top of the custard. Using a creme brulee torch, which can be found at any specialty store, I'll caramelize the sugar directly with the flame. I'll let the sugar rest for a few minutes and then it should be hard enough for that fun first crack. The custard is so creamy and I could taste the delicate notes of the Earl Grey tea. It gives an extra dimension to an already amazing dessert. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out my other tea inspired recipes like my matcha madelines dipped in white chocolate. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!